What's up, guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Here with Justice and Alexi Sasa. Um, Justice was over Resolume, Pro Presenter, really everything. He's he's the guy at Inspire um, that helped us out with troubleshooting, uh, wirecast, uh, all our broadcasts, everything. Alex was our stagehand. He He's was a filler. He, <laughs> filler. <laughs> he was our. He was. He was everything. He was he, the backup to every other backup. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, and the backup to back. So the reason why I asked him to come here is because I was supposed to vlog the entire conference, and I really didn't get to vlog that much. Got so busy. Um, a lot of stuff. I don't want to say a lot of stuff went wrong, but it was a lot of troubleshooting. There was just a lot of troubleshooting, and it was like extremely busy. And then like every. One thing would break, and then another thing would break, yes. and we would fix it, and then yes. something else would happen, so then we would have to just make the whole entire flow of service be dumbed down, yeah. pretty much. But it was, it was overall, it was a good outcome. I think we had around, I don't know. It was packed. Yeah. It was packed like two nights. It was we had packed. an overflow, too. Yeah, we and overflow. An overflow. Yeah, it was like around, what, two, the sanctuary fits what? 2,600. So 2,600 in the... The sanctuary fits 2,600? Yeah, I think... That's what I remember. It's in the 2000s. You're not counting all the musicians and singers were in the back. That you're we're know, counting like the, the seats. Like the <laughs> seats were packed, bro. <laughs> yeah. First night was packed, and the, the second joke. night it's was crazy. And then was we had an night. overflow room. Yeah, uh, which seats about like chapel. yeah, that seats about like I think 200, 300 people. Yeah. So that's almost like 3,000 people. Damn, if we want to round the number up, plus the 200. Well, how much people? 200 were? volunteers. Volunteers. Yeah, because you had ushers and stuff. So yeah, it was it was a great outcome. Um, I kind of just wanted to talk about the, what goes on behind the scenes with a conference like this. Um, I think in like the Hispanic world, we don't really have conferences like this. Um, at least in at least not the okay. No, we unless had, unless we, you're Marcos Witt, wait, wait. unless you're Marcos yeah. Witt, and you got a big, yeah, you're able to, to go to be, church to church to church. So you have yeah. to be a non non denominational church. Exactly. Really. That's that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, and when there was big conferences, it wasn't as like technical as uh -huh, it is. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is this is probably the biggest UPC conference I've ever been involved or along the lines of that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we had a we had a stagehand, we had a, a service producer, we had a broadcast producer. I mean, we had a lot a lot of places, a lot of positions. Um, but I think it was a great outcome mainly mm -hmm. because everybody really put their heads together. Yeah. Um, so I do want to talk about Resolume. This was our first time ever really experiencing Resolume. Fire. Fire. <laughs> Freaking nuts. Uh, I've never really been exposed to Resolume. This is my first time. Uh, for those of you that, why don't you explain to them what Resolume is? For those so, who don't know. So Resolume is essentially a, um, it's like a media server, kind of like Mad Mapper, except it's like you, you can VJ, you could put any kind of content you want. You can map screens. Basically, it's a whole entire video processor in a box. And so with that software, you can use different type of output methods, different mapping methods, different ways of displaying content, different types of keying and blending modes. Mm -hmm. Pretty much everything you do in Premiere, you can do live. It, it, and not just that, but also switch video, put out content any, any way you want. And you could you could just really push the limits of stuff. You, you can see the, you see these things aligned like in concerts. Yes, like big concerts. EDM world is what yeah, EDM. Yeah. So when I started working, that's the world I kind of grew up in when I was young, and so that's that's where Resolume kind of that's where I got the tool of Resolume was we time coded everything, and then we just ran the screen how we wanted along with time code, and so that just did all the work for us, and it was really fun because if time code ever went down. Well, guess what? We have a controller. We can keep going, keep flowing through the whole entire program. So it's really helpful for churches because if you have a lyric video mm -hmm. and you can cue lyric videos, you can cue slides, you can do everything with MIDI, time code, you name it. Resolume is just, it's a beast. It was, it's it's it was, pretty awesome. It was fun it using was, it. It really was. Especially I mean, from the with, first time we went to the service, like uh -huh. three weeks before, we were blown away. Yeah, so we went to, a, went, before the conference, I think like. It was like a Sunday. It was yeah, a Sunday, our yeah. 11 a.m. service. Um, yeah, so I kind of. Kind of put on like a little bit of a, wow. No, you you want to redo that? No, no, no. You're <laughs> no, good. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. So we kind of put on like, I, I kind of put on like a little test, I guess, and really um, um, just showing the options that we would have for the conference, which is like putting the camera feed on the screen, doing a whole bunch of effects with that camera feed, and then blending it with other assets, other graphics, other backgrounds, and... Um, it's just really cool because you could yeah. just mix a lot of 
different layers of video yeah. and do effects on the fly. So Yeah, and that's another thing that we did with this conference. We we scouted the auditorium. What was it, like two weeks before? No, it was like three weeks before. Three weeks before. Um, mainly, we really wanted to see – well, I'm sorry. We did go like four months before when we had first seen the building. Yeah. But I, we really – me and Alex really wanted to see – what it was going to be like in a service. We wanted to see Resolum. We wanted to see the lighting. We wanted to see the hosting. That was a really big thing. Y'all's hosting was super cool. I really liked how y'all did it in the, in the coffee shop. Mm-hmm. That was cool. Um, and that was another thing that we did this year in RF was hosting. Uh, I'll show a couple of clips here of the hosting going on. Um, it, was, it was super cool. You just get to engage with the online, uh, with the online people. Um, but anyways, back to Resolum. I thought it was super cool having a lighting guy which you and, and again this is normal for you but for yeah. spanish conferences you don't have a lighting guy yeah lights go you, don't, don't they usually just go however so usually usually I mean, we don't have lights yeah yeah you have the house lights. you have house lights. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you and have. then we started we started little by little incorporating stage lighting i'm talking about like just to wash the stage mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. then we started incorporating a little bit of a little bit of color and I, I mean, think this was the first year with movers. Yes, we do not do movers. Which we didn't even really push to the limits. No, we didn't. Like there was, there's not. more lights that we even put up there yet. But it was, it was so like perfect that it wasn't too much movement. Mm. We had Resolune on LED screen. It was simple and everything matched. Yes, everything matched. So the problem is, is that sometimes you'll you'll have these movers, and if you don't have a good lighting guy or you don't have a good software then lights are just going crazy, and people yeah. don't like that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, but um, anyway, so yeah, we had Ulysses mm-hmm. as uh, our lighting guy. And believe it or not, it was his first time. It was his first time. It was yeah, on campus. That's yeah. what he told me. Uh, but he did, this, I mean, he did this his really first good. time doing, like, lighting lights for, in general? Yeah, uh-huh. lights for a conference yeah. like that. Well, and so, like, so at Inspire, we keep everything, like, extremely simple. The reason why is because we flow so much. Yeah. So that fit the conference, I think, mm-hmm. because there were times where – even though we had a program, the worship team still flowed. Yep. And we could we could follow the worship team like every hit, that was every awesome. blackout, every ch- color change. We could just do it on the fly, which is why the lights should go hand in hand with yeah. Resolume. Yeah, mm-hmm. they, they they complete each other. Again, yeah. we don't. This is the first time with Resolume, so we never knew how it would work. Mm-hmm. And like the team that you guys already have at at Inspire was very inspiring. If, you know. <laughs> wow, that is the most cringiest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> hey, man, I got to be cringy, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but it, it's true. And I was actually super surprised of how well our team uh, matched with you guys. Like, that, like, I mean, we just met. It was everything. The workflow was just, it was super it was smooth. Great. It, was it was super smooth. Great um, attitudes, man. That's that's for awesome. us. For us in a, in a not, I'm not saying hostile, but mm-hmm. it's a very fast pace com- these conferences are very fast paced yep. yeah. yep. so everybody with a smile on their face or you right you guys yeah you guys attitude was also flowing on a, on us too mm-hmm. because we can get very like hey man we need to get this done and we forget mm-hmm. about attitudes or anything yeah. we forget about hurting people's feelings we just need to get yep. it done yep. but you guys were very like flowing very so it inspired us to what's do the sound the guy's thing. name again sam sam dude sam, sam bro Freaking sam's beast. awesome Freaking the beast, beast mario dude. too mario's yeah, a beast mario. Everybody. We didn't get to see a lot of Mario, but man, his live stream we live stream mix was insane. I know. So awesome. if we had a better encoder, I we would really hear that live that yeah. live that broadcast yeah. mix. But I think it's probably it was, the best it was awesome. that y'all could yeah, it was, for it was, a conference. It was really good. So, but something something that this year we really did we pushed the limits with production. We really did with lighting, service producer. I think a lot of my biggest thing was dead space with service producer, mm. and I think the service producer really fixed that. Um, that that went really smooth, and then just the music, man, the music was killer. I was oh, I went yeah. back and watched the raw feed mm-hmm. that that you gave me, dude. It was it was killer. I really liked it. Um, I still have to edit that. I'm hey, but the Black it. Magic cameras bro. and the camera work, that was pretty good. Man, was, sorry we couldn't get that that Dana Dolly, bro. I know that I know that hey, shot would have been awesome, but but ne- next, next year, year next, next year. year I think next year is probably going to be huge because we we can have more time to like really program the service at least on the resolume and lighting and like really do like an intro to the conference and not just the hosting and all yeah. that but we can even push the limits of cameras like we can really do a lot 
So I think this is just the tip of the iceberg of where the conference could go. That middle shot future. that we used, we would always be moving in and out. That was that was awesome. Yeah, I, that, so that was awesome. I'm actually I'm really not a fan of the broadcast look. Yeah. Broadcast cameras. Oh yeah, it. yeah. We're but we're it not was my either. first time dealing with it, and dude, it was dope. It was I dope. actually I really liked it. I thought they matched really good with the Black Magics. Um, if you are looking. If you're viewing this podcast, I recommend to never get Sony broadcast cameras. I'm just going to be real mm-hmm. honest with you. Wow. Did you hear that? The reason, well, the <laughs> reason for that, that is because the price for what you're getting, you're getting like it's almost. Insane. Yeah, it's like each camera I think is like 40 to 80K, I think. Oh, my. And so that's refurbished. That's not even brand new. Bro, and so then the, sell all those cameras and you just get Black Magic. Exactly. So the problem is, is no one wants them. And we don't, and we don't have people, so mm. they're kind of like paperweight. So we just have to use them until we get the right cameras at the right time. Which, you know, we just got to plan for that and budget. But that's my recommendation. If you are ever trying to stream in a church or anything like that, just go Black Magic, go with Pocket Cinemas, get a get a four channel switcher, and you're set for life. Yeah. As long as your colors and the tone looks good. Yeah. Yeah. This no, is me I, though. I, yeah. No, I agree 100. percent So mean, we actually started at our Spanish church. We started with Black Magics. We just recently sold them. We're with Canon Cinema cameras mm-hmm. right now. Uh, I'm trying to switch them all to the C200, which yep. I really like. That's which they have, don't they have the same sensor or similar sensor characteristics? They do. Yeah. So I think Canon owns Blackmagic or something like they, that. They produce. I think they produce the sensors for mm-hmm. Blackmagic. Blackmagic mm-hmm. does a lot of the. Um, Blackmagic's really good at the the software side of things and how they can encode video and meet standards with the sensor. Canon's really good at developing the lenses and the sensor technology and stuff like that. Yeah. So. Yeah. But anyway, so back back what we were talking about. This year, yeah, we, we did push a lot of limits with the, conf- <clears throat> with the conference. But I think for next year, I really want – I was thinking, like, what's, what's a different thing I want to do next year? For sure, more lights. And yeah. haze. We more haze. lights, more lights, custom trussing, and probably the screen yeah. going from the ceiling and like trussing down with truss oh motors. We've thought about we've thought about adding even in this conference, we thought about adding more movers. Mm-hmm. But we're like, look, let's just work with what they have now and let's see for next year. Yeah. Because yeah. if we go all out because like, even inspired no is not the grow. infrastructure yeah. yet. So like when we have the infrastructure, it'll make it easier yeah. for everyone, whoever comes in, to just really just walk and be like, Okay, this is what we want to do. Okay, well then we could do that. You know, let's just pull down our lights, change what we need to change, change the screen how we need to change it, and get it done. Yeah. And so. And I love how y'all's church is very customized for somebody to just mm. a load in, load out. Yeah. Really. Mm-hmm. Like y'all just had Marco's wit right before. Yeah, us. we had Marco's wit actually the same week y'all came in. Yeah. So yeah. he came in the Sunday and uh, he just hung out with us. But he has been there before. We were a part. We were one of the churches that was a part of his tour, which was pretty nice. And he got to use Resolum as well. And they actually brought. I think they brought the same configuration on tour with mm-hmm. them as well. Um, and so... How did he like Resolum? He liked it. That's cool? Yeah. That's cool. It's pretty yeah, cool. That's dope. That's dope. And Resolum is them. free. We well, gotta, the demo is the free. The demo is free. But the license is like 800 bucks. But you can get Avenue with less features for, for 300 It's... Nuts. Man, but the, the stuff that it does... It yeah, it's creates, limitless. What, what I was more amazed of in this conference, and I, I tell him all the time, when they use LED screens and they have like this focus camera, they have one camera, I mean, it's one center camera, and it's focusing on the preaching or the musicians, you can see like the mirror effect all the way in the back. Mm-hmm. Like you see over and over. And I, I hate that. But with you guys and Resolune, the system that you have, you're on a different, completely different shot. Mm-hmm. In the background, yeah, and then on the side, the iMags are showing something completely it different. Was, it and was that dope. It was, was dope. so. I got I got the idea for that from Hillsong. Hillsong back in the day, they actually used Mad Mapper. I think Resolum didn't exist at the time, but the way they did it with Mad Mapper Wait, is. Hold up. Did you watch the Hillsong documentary? Yeah, let's not talk about that. Red wow, wow. <laughs> right, bro, right. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Anyways, this is when Hillsong was good. <laughs> Hey, Hillsong and they is were, still playing, bro. Yeah, I know, they are still playing. But anyways. Church don't exist with the fans, <laughs> But, um, no, the, I got the idea from them. Um, and they used Mad Mapper, I think, and they just changed the opacity, brought down the saturation, and then they would just have one camera shot. In fact, they didn't, like, they didn't have a switcher that would switch from six different cameras like we had it. Mm-hmm. It was just one camera. And so they would track the lead singer. And then, for example, it was Brooklyn, I think, was their main leader, and she was on the center screen, faded, and they, they mapped it on the wall. Yeah. It was pretty cool. So they did that for a short amount of time, and I was like, you know what? We have Resolume. 
let's do it here. Let's just try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what happens. And everyone loved how it. Did people, big, how did people react the first time they, they seen it? Everyone loved it. They think it's the most insane thing. Um, there was one night where we had Deidre Great House come in from Lakewood. And there was, like, this one part where she was singing, and then we had a blackout, but there was a spotlight on her. Mm. And then she said the last line, and she was like, you won't, and she pointed at the camera. And so it showed the same feed on the LED wall when there was a wide shot of the auditorium lit up. Wow. And it was sick. And then we did a hit, and then, Bro. That's So that's that's what I want to There's a lot of execution about. stuff that has to be involved yeah. in order to create an atmosphere like I that. Think that. I think that it was... Like, we were, I think we were lucky that night. Like, me and Matthew, when Matthew was running lights that night, I think we were really, really lucky. When, there's a couple of shots that we have that people took pictures of that I thought they were edited, like, completely edited. Mm -hmm. But they were just live. If you were in live, you thought, man, this is, like, the most craziest thing we've seen. But with our people and Spanish people, mm -hmm. they're very conservative. Yep. yep. So when they see stuff that are, is different, it's like, oh, no. But when they seen that, everybody reacted completely different. Well, it's they they you really took it in. You have to really understand, well. a lot of these people have never seen yeah. something like yep. this. So it's not like they've seen, like, I mean, it's never been shown to them. And that, that's why I was saying it's it's a lot of, how do you say it, pre-production. Yeah. A lot of pre-production with hits, like you're saying. Um, and actually, we Which even then still stuff was last minute. Even, but yeah, we didn't even do we didn't, that we didn't, much. we didn't scratch the surface. We yeah. really didn't. We really didn't. And, and I, and I kind of like that. I kind of like we that. Can we can say that for next, for yes, the next one because mm. we got, we didn't get the bare minimum because we did a lot. Yeah, we didn't do the bare minimum. But I like that we got to touch a little bit of the surface, a little bit. Mm -hmm. But for next year, we can we can pre-program it yes. months before, time coded. Yes. Yeah. yeah, go with the worship team. Like, okay, well, what songs y'all want to do? Okay, well, we can make lyric videos that match with, yes. with y'all spontaneous moments. Like, That's we awesome. could we could track it because I know um, the MD. What's his name again? Lewis, Lewis, right? Lewis. He he was just queuing from money. next, yeah. yeah, queuing from next song to another song on Ableton, and he just kept following. Like he's a beast with that, and so that's perfect for what we want to do next year because we could really and truly time code everything. And he's good at like changing, changing songs on the fly. Yes, like, just putting it on. And so Ableton if we're doing time code, it'll match with Resolume, and we can we can follow. Yeah, we along. love that. We love that. It was it was sick. Yeah, I really man. thought it was. It was sick because we've never done it before. Yeah. And I thought, like, honestly, this is my biggest thing. We're do my, my mentality was we're doing a lot of new stuff this year. I don't want, I don't want something to go wrong. You know, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm not in the light. Yeah, thank you. Um, Come I don't, back to the light. Yeah, <laughs> so one question that I, I wanted to be at, I've, been, I've been wanting to ask, does it look the same with Resolune on a projector? That's good. That's a good question. Um, you can make it look the same, but um, even if your source is good, it's yeah. always how it's being produced, how it's being outputted. Just like with sound, if you have a ten thousand dollar microphone and you record the best vocals, but your speaker is like two hundred bucks yeah, and yeah. it can't produce the, the the volume output you need, right? <laughs> it's gonna sound bad. It's not gonna sound clear. You know, like if you're doing mastering, yeah. you're gonna get atoms. You're gonna get hey. orotones. What's, what's up, bro? What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? Look who it we is. Got that. We got the hey. MD here. Let's go. What's up, guys? Yeah. yeah so here. I brought Lewis. We're here. just talking really bad about you. Sorry. Dang. I brought Lewis here because we're really just talking about the pre-production, post-production from RF. What up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, good. This is uh, Lewis, by the way. I know. <laughs> like we don't know each other. So we're just talking about how how Spanish churches. The culture, like, this is our first time doing a lot of stuff, like lights. Uh, we're just talking about how we can, how Spanish churches can incorporate stuff like this um, at a smaller level. Like, you just asked if you can use Resolume and with projectors with a projector. A lot of Spanish churches don't have LED screens. They have, uh, right. they have um, projectors, projectors from Best Buy. And they also, right. and not, wait, wait, not just yeah. Spanish churches. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, let's just a lot let's of be churches. real. Yeah. Like, just yeah. churches across churches the board. Churches in general, yeah. Uh, man, I'm just trying to. Actually, but the I have thing something is, to add to that. So. The thing is that where the projector is placed is also important because if you have a projector with Resolune and it's on, it's super high, mm -hmm. you're not getting the effect that you want to get. Yeah. it has to be really low because you can do it on a projector. I think to recreate what we did, you're gonna need a projector that can reverse the image and go behind the yes, screen. Yes, behind right? the screen. Because um, 
if you do it in front of the screen and then you're trying to recreate the effects that we're doing, then you're you gonna get, have the you get singer, shadows. You're gonna get shadows. You're gonna get all those weird effects, and you're gonna be like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah that's not, not what. That's not what we're gonna do. But I think another thing too is is don't. I think another thing for small churches, just small ch- churches in general, any church in general, yeah, yeah. just be your own personality. Produce how you yes. how what fits the, the room you're in. You know, like not every room's the same. Like every year when I go to M3 camp and um, Inspires Youth Camp, which we're we're gonna call it Legacy Camp, I think. Hopefully, we're invited, right? Um, <laughs> I mean, y'all can come through if y'all want. <laughs> hey, man, it's, we, we, fa- we family now. Hey, bro. It's six, we family. Six production, Let's full go. on rigging. So Let's I mean, go. hey, um, I know this MD guy. Stupid, bro. It's pretty high <laughs> <dollar>. <laughs> <Be careful. laughs> But uh, um, no, like every year and every time I walk into an auditorium, you kind of have to think outside the box and fit the auditorium rather than fit. Oh, well, I want to be just like Bethel. You know, like that's yeah, a high yeah, standard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. That, that's a good standard to meet or to like. That's a goal. But don't let that be the goal of your church, bro. Right. Right. Even yeah. if even if it's a church or not a church, you you, you can't ever think like well, that. Was that your idea? I, no, no, no. <laughs> sorry. I tell the, I say this all the time. There's always comparisons that we want to. We say, "Hey, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna be like them." I wanna right? be like Elevation. But right. but I'm always in the concept of thinking different. I mean, I can take a little concept of it, but I want to think different. I want to do right. something different that somebody original, nobody else. Yeah. yeah. Maybe there's a picture out there that I might get an idea of, but I want to create something. Take, completely take what's made different. and build off of it. Yeah. Or create yeah. your own from yes, scratch. 100%. Well, I think we, I think I mean like for me, I struggle with that because we live in a society of comparison. Bro. Where we are we're in social media, mm-hmm. we see what everybody else is doing, and you think, dang, like I don't have budgets to do those things. Yep. Um, I don't have personnel to do those things. And you discredit what you have at home. Mm-hmm. You discredit the people you have. Mm-hmm. And instead of tapping into what you already have and the resources that you do have right now, you just, you don't even get into that because you're, st- you're thinking, we're not that. Yeah. And that's one thing I love about my church. Yeah. Uh, here. Hey, you never heard of a silence on the phone, dude? <laughs> yeah, I believe it's like the fourth time. Turn that junk off. Um, I love that about my church that, sure, we don't, we might not have LED screens, we might not have all these things, but we're striving and pushing with what we do have yeah. and maximizing yeah. our fullest potential with what we do have so that when we get to the moment that we're able to purchase all of these screens and buy this and do there. that, we're already, we're already there. there. Yeah. Maximizing what you have. Yeah, exactly. And so that's 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 a valid point. You basically just define maximizing the technology and equipment you have. Um, the first time I ever mixed in my life, I mixed on a Yamaha M7CL. And so, yeah, that's what we said. Yeah, OG, OG, OG console bro. right there. You throw it against the wall, bro, it'll still throwing, work, you're saying, bro. bro you, you're going way. You, I know. You got And it was at a Baptist. Look, it was at a Baptist church. We're on Barringers, bro. The knobs, bro. No, and it was at a Baptist church. And I was like, man, you know, the worship ain't in. And I, and I kept thinking like that. I'm like, wait, but let me just use what I have. Yeah. Like, although I don't have like an M32, which is what I really wanted. Or a Midas Pro Two, or a Yamaha. Like mm-hmm. I didn't, I didn't have top of the line. I still worked with what I had because there's legends that mix on OG consoles to right. this day. This guy calls the OG a digital. I board. mean, <laughs> okay, bro. Well, <laughs> OG it, digital bro. Console, console, bro. You think about that. That console came out what? Oh four. Oh four. Oh five. Like that. My first, my first bro, board oh, was that, a Personas. Hey, Personas. Hey, that was the first mixing console to do 48 channels at the time. Yes, bro. And and that's when they introduced bro, but that's, digital. Deal, but that's bro. what I'm saying. That that was a good console to mix on, bro. Right. And it still is. I, I think, uh, what's his name? Mike at Mike's Church. Mike's, Mike's Church. They still yes, have they it. have yeah. a Yamaha yep. M7CL. So they're, they're they're pretty awesome. Like, I, on, I honestly thought about, like, man, I just want to own one. You know, because they're cheap. And I saw one on, like, Reverb or eBay.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, bro. I have one. Dude, I just want to get one. You have yeah, one? my dad's church, yeah. <laughs> um, but That's yeah. Nice. So, yeah, use, I think you answered my question. So use what you have already. Maximize what you have. Maximize. Push the limits so that way when the time comes where you can invest in something huge, it's worth It's worth because you you know the knowledge on how to reproduce right. what you want to pr- reproduce. Right. Okay, so, so la- last question. I kind of want to, oh, Jeremiah's here. We got the man that made the legend. Cool, bro. Let's go, boy. <laughs> We got our, our he grab a did, chair. Yeah, grab hey, a chair. but I want to say some. I want to say something before Jeremiah comes in. David. Jeremiah is a beast. This guy Aww. has taken over our church and our media stuff and has been killing it. Talk about maximizing. Like, yes. Talk talk about maximizing this guy. The the your resources that you have. Yes. Is this guy, bro? Yep. Because sometimes I look at like our. 
Give him a coffee, he can do it. Bro, yeah. I look at our screen on Sundays. I'm playing, and I'm looking at the shots and the things that they're doing. I was like, like up, bro? what in the world, bro? He's crushing it. He's yeah, killing he's, it, bro. Bro, he's he's killing it. Man, y'all are too kind. What? Yeah. What is this? Bro, yeah, just, just going on. Hey, bro, this is this is just this is a vibe, bro. It's just a vibe. Nice. You can take we're, on, off, bro. we're on a bu- Sorry, we're on a budget here. We only had three mics, but you know, no, yeah. not even stands, bro. You got top of the line <laughs> hey, we, mics. We and like it like mics. this, bro. <laughs> ah, this is cool. This is How's cool. your day? How's your day? It's long, it was long. So it was long, great. Bro. Yeah. So, Jeremiah, okay. tell us, tell us, like, what what you tell us what you did in RF. Like, what was your role? What uh stared at the many screen besides fighting with people. No, I'm just kidding. Nah, nah. We, we gotta, didn't have none of that. Out. I gotta bleep we that. We didn't have we didn't have I none of that. <laughs> um I just did whatever you told me to do. Oh, oh that's see, that, right. see that's what I'm talking about. Come on. See this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, he said just blast post and we did. Yeah, he did. Jeremiah is the most humblest guy. Well oh not the goodness. humblest guy, but he's that's a right. he's a real humble right. guy. Here, take this. No, so yeah, Jeremiah did all our, he did all our content, our Instagram. He he really handled our photos, videos, reels. He did amazing. I think we got like, yeah. it was crazy. I think we got like seventeen hundred followers. Photos were cool, bro. From, yeah, yeah, the photos were rad, dude. They're, they're crazy. They're crazy. Um, but yeah, so with social media wise, we really wanted to go video heavy this year, and that's why I told Jeremiah, I was like, dude, just blast, just yeah. blast reels, just because right now reels, reels is it. Is it nobody's liking a photo anymore? Like no, and for us, we hate vertical videos. Yeah. Right, I hate it, yeah. but that's the game, and you just gotta play it. So mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. More yeah. Your pictures on the- it's all right. It's all good. It's put on the IG. Chill, bro. Put it on the IG. Exactly. We issue. also did the broadcast stuff, yeah. like the yeah, hey, all yeah, the all the motion graphics. Was that was probably the best part. I enjoyed doing that stuff. It was fun. It was, it was cool. Uh, that's another new thing we did this year was hosting. Uh, man, that was freaking crazy. That was so that many. Was so hosting is the hardest thing to do. It really is. You need the manpower. Well, the, yes, you do need the manpower, but the way y'all did it was kind of. Ooh, it was. It was. Scary. It was. It was, it was, it was <laughs> because yeah. we were really. Okay, so this is, this is, this is my fault, but. This is a lesson already, that I have been learning. Things were already going wrong, and I decided to push the limits and said, Wait, let's go outside. The thing, is, the thing is that this is not even this is not even what we talked that we were gonna do. There was way more that we wanted to do for broadcasting. Mm-hmm. Like we wanted to we wanted to do broadcasting during the preaching and bring the preacher up yes, after he preached did. and talked. So there was a lot of stuff that we so, didn't even yeah, do. Stuff like that, you're you're really gonna have to like really produce and execute. And then I think I think I think the dump, the first goal you should meet for the next year's conference is get the technical things out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Pre-program everything. Pre, get your technical, get super source ready because the way you could do that is super sourcing through like a switcher or something. Yeah. Just knocking out the little technical things so that way when you show up to the place, okay. everything's plug and play, and then you just test, rehearse. Well, all we need to execute. do is get the login from you, bro, so we can see it on our. <laughs> this guy, hey, do you even have that app still have, installed? So, don't don't show my so, secret, bro. So, yeah, bro. Guys, so I'm gonna play this video right now. It's wild. I have that video. It's wild. And this dude's running. He runs everything from his computer. I'm talking about ProPresenter, Resolume, the sound. By the way, I do still have it, so I could just listen. If your going. Facebook, <laughs> if your Facebook got hacked, this guy, this guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> that, give me that too. What's up, guys? I'm here with uh, my buddy Justin. He works here at Inspire Church. <laughs> Dude's an absolute monster here. Come bring the camera over here and show this. So he's running Pro Presenter and Resolute from my laptop back here. The sanctuary is in a complete other room, and he's running everything. You want to cross up there? Do cross. Oh, that fire is that, dude. That was nuts. That was nuts. It really was. He's the one that helped on Lewis get his YouTube back. No, no I didn't. We'll give him know. the credit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's give it to him. I have taken down my school district if that counts. Yeah, he changed. Oh he changed gosh, his grades bro. at school. That's the most craziest yes, bro. thing. Don't be exposing yourself like that, bro. It's okay, I'm good. I'm clearing. Oh, okay, you're good then. <laughs> and now he's just building his own thing. People pay him just to use his. What do they pay you for? And when when you go to Marcos, what um, do they for the for? streaming and coding and all that. Coding, bro. That if you bro, not coding. Encoding. 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 Even better. Coding Even different. better, bro. Yeah, he works in cyber. Hey, but he cyber. knows coding. <laughs> yeah, you know I coding. Do. Yeah, you gotta know bit. coding. Yeah. So like, hey, yeah, you bro. gotta know, bro. You gotta know, bro. You gotta know, bro. <laughs> All right. You have to So know. this guy gets if you paid. Bad, you have to. <laughs> for creating softwares and creating encoding. 
That's even awesome. like custom stuff for concerts, like custom software to run like a stage. Like That's if you want it in a specific way, then I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's it's God sent that we met. Yeah. And we, we were connected in that way because there's a lot of things that we can learn from Inspire. And I know there's a lot of stuff that we can help because we're a church that has nothing but volunteers, mostly volunteers. Oh, yeah. Volunteers. A lot of our people are, like, paid. Yeah. Right. And, and we, you can see, like, you, there's struggles in both places, mm-hmm. right? But we have a team that, man, they're passionate about it. Yeah. They're like, they're we have a team around. that want to learn. We have Re- Repeat passionate. Yeah, we're passionate. We're for sure. That is passionate. like the key to like really building a team. You yes. have to have you, the leader has to be wholehearted, spirit filled, and then every single volunteer will follow. Along. I think I that mean, I, I feel a, I yeah, feel so. That's that's. that's how I you think execute. that if you have paid people that 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 do it, that's fine. But I'm pretty sure there's a lot of young people that are very creative in your church that want a chance, and I think that that's probably something that you need to open up a volunteer place where people can learn mm-hmm. and be like a system where they can bring them in because. If you have a whole bunch of paid people, they'll come just for a check, right? Yeah, and they'll get per- too professional or professional. Yes. Yeah. I always call it professional pettinism or right. pettiness. Right. And where, like, people can really take, like, well, I work here, so yeah. this is how I'm going to run it's things. More of a job. It's more of a job here to collect a check, but there's never really buy-in into mm-hmm. the vision, into the church, yep. into what we're doing here. And so... I see both sides, like wanting to have paid staff, but also having. You, you need know, to have good balance, you, you know. Yeah, like exactly. elevation has good balance, right? Bethel has good balance, and they have people that buy. When they in. did their Heaven Come conference, they even said in the video, like every single there's always there's a couple paid people, but then there's still a couple volunteers. It's right. just very balanced, right. and so people who serve, they're trained, and then they're and then they're given that same fire, that same vision to execute. Right. We, we're we part of a, a church that, and we have an amazing leader. We have an amazing pastor, and, and I'm a, like, he's he's a guy that we can follow, and he, he, he serves also with us. Right. So he's a man that understands, like, when a person comes in volunteers, and he's taken away from time at work, or whatever it is, he's, he's the kind of person, he's the kind of person that says, you know what, I'm going to take care of you. You've been mm-hmm. here couple of days you were doing he'll come and take care of you it's not the case for everyone yeah he well, like but he knows case, like we, we do we do conferences kind of like what we did we mm-hmm. rented inspire well there's churches events district events that they come and they use our building and so pastor will be like hey we're gonna budget in um for our production team for our camera guys because yep. you know if you, you have to be here thursday friday saturday that's a lot that's a lot yeah, people lot. are taking off of work i think it's vital that we still take care of those people right even though they're volunteers 100%. But the next time something like this comes up, they're going to want to be a part again because they know that pastors are going to take care of them. Oh, yeah. That they're going not they're – not, they're not getting rich off of the event, yeah, yeah. but it's just a little sum. You know, it's like mm-hmm. a compromise type thing there. And so I think, I think it's important that we take care of the people that are helping push our churches. The crazy part, the crazy part is even in my mind that I've been – you know, I've, I've, I've done different conferences and different events here at church, and I've been compensated for my time. I don't think about it as being, I'm being compensated. Right. I don't think about because of that time that I'm there, I'm being compensated. I just think about, man, he's trying to bless me with something. Yeah. Not, not just my time. He, just, he wants, hey, I see something in you, I want to bless you. Mm-hmm. And I take it as if he pays me, fine. If he don't pay me, that's fine. And that's the, that's the way our church works, you know, where we can volunteer even if they don't pay us. Mm-hmm. Like, but pastor is a very wise man, so he knows Hey man, I'm gonna take, take I'm gonna take care of this person. I'm gonna take care of this person. Yeah, well, I love that we do that because it shows, you know, like that we value, you know, our our people. I feel oh, like yeah. sometimes in the church, some church culture, you almost have places where they're working you like dogs, and oh, bro. they don't feel valued. There, you know, I know. <laughs> so I feel like we have a good culture of like, hey, like. It's not about how much it is. It's about like, you know, like we value what you do, right. yeah. and this is why we do it. Right. You know, sure. and I feel like we do so good with that, and I'm thankful for that. So, yeah. one of the biggest reasons why I chose—I remember like three or four months ago, we were trying to decide who's going to do the broadcast because it was a lot. We it was a lot of volunteers that we needed to use. I think we had how many cameras did we have? Four, five, six, six cameras. So we needed six camera operators. We needed a switcher. We needed 
And someone to run Pro Presenter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone to monitor the YouTube and someone to run lights. Yeah, and from from the beginning, I was like, we have to use our Royal Wood guys, yeah. and and something, I think something very special that our Royal Wood guys have that I could personally say because I've I've worked at some churches, and I've seen this. A lot of people have their team, but their team is not in sync. If that makes sense. Yeah. Unity. It, yeah, that's a very no big one's unified. Thing. That's a very yes. big thing. Yeah, that's a big thing. Very big, especially in a broadcast setting. Your switcher has to know what's going on in the floor. That's what I like about y'all. Like, even when I walked in working with y'all, it was just like, oh, everyone's on the same page. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If there is something that's miscommunicated, we just communicate it. We just right. and, we, and we resolve it and we yeah. worry about it. So that was, and that was a very big thing. And it, Shout out to the Royalwood guys. Seriously, yeah. you guys. Yeah, y'all killed it. Absolutely killed the shots, bro. They were they were pretty good. Were good. It's because awesome. we we are our biggest critics. Like, right, right. yeah, right, right, yeah. yeah. And we're so we, we're okay with that. Yeah, and we we man, we criticize each other. Not There's, in a negative. Not way. in a negative not in, way. In a positive way. We like keep each other accountable of the service. Yeah, like we yeah. want we want the better shots. We want the better mu- the best musicians. We want we want to be great. We want to set the, God yeah. the best. We want to be able to to set the standard high, right? That even if we don't get to that standard, we're still trying to achieve it. Because a lot of things is like you keep pushing yourself for yeah, God's glory. Yeah, the thing is that some people come to come to uh, their church or their volunteer. They're like, oh, which I'm just I'm just an extra. It's okay. I'll, I'll figure yeah. it out. It's a, but we always want to be. We always want to do best. We always want to do right. the better thing for God. Yeah. Because if if sometimes you know the secular world. Does all these great things, and a lot of a lot of people do a lot of volunteers work too. They want to learn, so they go and intern, and they, they take classes. Yes. Yeah. Right. Why can't we do the same thing? You know, and, and now that you're talking about it, I think that there should be more workshops. Yeah. I think maybe even after this conference, maybe a workshop could be a thing. Hundred percent. We, we, we talked were, about that. We were actually we were in the staff. Like all the way from the audio side, yeah, all right. the way to Resolume, all right. the way to the broadcast, all right. the way to like how how do you do the infrastructure side of things of all the tech. How do you make everything just fit together? Right. Well, we were just today in our staff meeting, we were talking about how they were, they were like, well, what are some things that you guys want to do in your teams next year? And he said, I would love to be able to take our full production team to the next level. Yep. Well, how do, what does that look like? I think doing like going to workshops together mm-hmm. and trying to, cause like we said, we've maximized yeah. what we have already. We've gotten to a place and a point where we need to go to the next level, and yep. to do that, we gotta we gotta go to people that are better than us, that mm-hmm. that know more than us, that are gonna be able to help us and steer us. Because you always want right to be direction. teachable and learning, yes. right? Exactly. Yes. And Jeremiah can speak more into that. Yeah, speak some wisdom. It's yeah, also ahead, it's also it's, heat, bro. it's also healthy. You know, I feel like sometimes, maybe even within our organization, sometimes it's like, you whoa, know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Do I believe anything out here? Yeah. Organization. No. <laughs> yeah. no. no organizations here, bro. That's just, what I'm saying. Just, beep beep. Like, just one body, In our bro. clique, in our group. <laughs> yes. I feel in like our sometimes ministry. in right. our cliques and our groups, cult. we only right. go to those those people. Well, what happens when you maximize that? Like, I feel like we were in a place where this is what we have. This is what we're trying to do. Everybody that we know, like, from our, you know, our local assemblies, whatnot, they're, no one's doing that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. local assemblies. <laughs> so, <laughs> local assemblies. what do you do next? Of the saints. It doesn't matter what denomination, bro. You We're all inspired. the church, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the great, the great thing is, our guy, like, our guys came back from, from that event. And they didn't come back like, Did they get oh, inspired? You know, this is, <laughs> exactly. yeah, we like, inspired. They inspired and left inspired. <laughs> they didn't come back like, <laughs> Oh man, their lighting were great. Oh my God, their their LED screen was great, and we don't we don't have LED screens yet, or we don't have this. No, they man. were like, how can we get to that? Yeah, yeah. they they the attitude is different. They still we still have come out come out come out come out. We looked but, at y'all's lighting board, and then we bought the same one. You yeah, the same board, <laughs> that <bro>. week. <laughs> that's it, hey, that's, look. If you want something that's as close to an MA console, get a Campsus. But if you want, if you have the budget to get an MA, get an MA. Yeah. Like it's worth it. Well, if if I can say something real quick, just speaking into the into the maximizing and all that stuff, I just felt like going to Inspire, and obviously you guys have more res- resources than us. Uh, it's no slam on on what we have. It's just 
you guys are more advanced in technology and some of the things that that you guys are using and so to be able to see that's okay exactly to be able to see them do more than what they're used to in the, here at church was super cool to see them. Yeah, because our old campus didn't have any of that, man. Ex- we, right. only, we like we didn't even have a broadcast mix. It was just straight from front of house, right? But online, it on, used to be on, like that too. On standard definition, it wasn't right. even t- it, was, it wasn't even 1080p, right? Exactly. So, we were streaming at 720p before, yeah. And so just to be able to see them step up to the plate. I'm sure for a lot of them, it was uncomfortable because it was new. It was different mm-hmm. than what they're used to here at the church. But that didn't stop them from trying to push through and be better. Yeah. And so that was super cool. And so that inspires me. Um, the joke. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, we're, we're, we're hoping that here pretty soon we'll be what able to get, we'll be able to, <laughs> we'll be able to get like LED screens and do these things, have yeah. Resolume and the production level go up more. And I feel like when that does happen, you know, we're, 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 we're ready. You know, we're mm-hmm. trying to get there already. So I think that's super cool. I think one advice too, if you're ever like trying to move to another level in production, focus on your infrastructure more than um, the big things. Like we were talking about LED wall. Well, Resolume is going to cost more than an LED wall package, in my opinion. Right. And then there's also assets you got to create. There's a lot of manpower, a lot of time you got to put into it. You got to learn it. And so for Resolume, um, focus on that because that's such an infrastructure resource compared to a screen. A screen is just a screen, you know. There's, there, you can always do the same thing with a projector. Yeah, right. Um, and so I think not really, bro. Not really. Not really. Bro. It won't look I the same. But infrastructure is more like, like, if you were to get an AK camera, but then you have a 1080p switcher. Yeah, that's stupid. Yeah. That's like, well, yeah, it's like I mean I agree because let's say we get the LED screen right now. And we're still using the LED screen the way we're using our wait, back wait, wait. our back our back projector oh, just, with just a motion graphic and some lyrics, bro. Oh, we're we still trying to find the resolution and trying to figure out how to map it. Y'all don't know how. This <laughs> man, <laughs> this I need man a owns an LED screen, and we were here. We did a no. I'm not trying to slam. No, 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 no wait, hold on. We're about to slam. <laughs> we're about to slam. <laughs> hey, wait, hold, hold on. Wait, hold on. Did hold you on. even have a Nova Star processor? Yeah, no, no, I got, I got, I got the. Oh my God. Y'all should have oh, brought, wait, 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 no, 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 brought me in. Bro, we didn't know you. <laughs> now we know you. We telling you everything. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm the kind of person. Hang the screen upside down here, bro. I'm a kind of person that I live through. I go through faith. I I I try to live through faith. So I buy stuff. To try to, to try to, <laughs> so wait, what? why did I sound bad? I live to try stuff to experience stuff. it. <laughs> no, no, no. So when I, when I buy stuff, I buy stuff to learn, to, yeah. to better, to better the production. Right. So sometimes we don't have the resource where we say, hey, let me get somebody to come and bring an LED screen. We don't have that kind of blessing. He donates. No, that, that's screen. a huge thing. I think that's another thing too. Sometimes you got to pull stuff out of your pocket right. to you invest in the to. church. And so that's why we say, that's why we say we're slamming on him. We're messing around. But the reality is like. We wouldn't have an LED screen if it yeah, wasn't, if it wasn't for, him. for him. And although it wasn't what we wanted it to be because we couldn't figure out the, the mapping and all that, the mapping, all that stuff, we no made fire. it work. It was still fire, but that just shows us and tells us that we have a lot of room to grow. We all want to grow. Yeah. We want to be better. So now y'all, now you just need to gain some knowledge on it so we all exactly. get the real thing. And that's why we're hanging out with you, yeah. somebody that's better. We don't, that doesn't that doesn't bother us. That yeah. doesn't threaten. We don't feel no, threatened there's by stuff that. that. I need to learn too. We I don't. Mean, feel, right. We don't feel threatened by like any of that stuff. We want we want to hang out with people that are better than us. Yeah. So that we're able to learn. Yeah. I, I want to say something for the viewers watching. That's if what. That's what. That's <laughs> you probably that. clicked off the video. <laughs> I we on. Right you you now, probably bro? went to go search up Inspire Church or Royal Woods page I'm and just, just went to go check out everything. Out, I'm just kidding. <laughs> or you went to go watch Bethel. Look, now go watch our stream. It's fire. After, I just want to say, this is what makes this team so great is that they, we, we, after the, I remember right after the conference, we criticized each other and we're like, mm-hmm. man, this went wrong. This went yeah. wrong. Even though the conference was amazing. Amazing. You know, we, we, we we, the people to. don't know what happened behind the scenes. They, don't. they think everything came out perfect. But for us, we're always like on the next step. What else can we do? Right. I mean, we still say, hey, dude, you killed it. You guys killed it. Killed but it. what can we do to make it better? <laughs> what can we do to grow? He said killed. Killed it. I killed it? <laughs> I hey, killed man, I'm sorry, man. Here, take this mic. <laughs> oh, you got it, bro. No, no, no. I, I get what you're saying, though. Like, we, we learned a lot. And so how can we how can we add this to the next conference? Yeah, saying? I was just gonna be dumb. Sometimes me and and Lewis, which our savagery comes out sometimes. <laughs> but on Sundays we'll be like, "Hey, bro, good job." 
gosh, bro, this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but that that's what makes it. That's what makes it great. And I, we gotta end this thing. I I, I want to. I do want to end it with this though. The whole point of me making this video is so that. And mainly to get more Spanish, money to get two yeah, yeah. more mics. Spanish yeah, yeah. churches, <laughs> more more mic stands, bro. More and mic stands, stands, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I kind of like this, man. Um, more for Hispanic churches, Spanish churches. How how you can grow, if you're doing a conference? Because I know a lot. There's a lot of Hispanic churches that are doing conferences, but how to take it to that next level? Yeah. And I feel like I'm probably gonna get bashed for wait, this. Wait, 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 wait. Before you say anything, you don't even know what I'm gonna say. I know, no, no. Just I, let him speak. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. I, I I feel like, and correct me if I'm wrong, okay, but I feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of com, uh, competitive 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 competition competition. Like competition. Like competition. We don't know how to speak, guys. Yeah, a lot of that and, and envy. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, like it, it. It's it's sad to see because you would think. And I mean, this is the mentality we should have is we're working for the same yeah. kingdom. Yeah. It's the same God. Yeah. Why don't we build work each together. other up, work yeah. together? Exactly. But instead we take this approach. I'm not going to that because we're better or we do this or we do that. And it's like, man, you're, you're, it's the wrong approach. Yeah. That's the wrong approach. So I keep going. No, that, that's, that's what, that's what I'm trying to say. Like we literally right after the conference, we bought that light board. Like right. literally, we 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 took it from y'all. Not take it, but like we just got inspired. We ran to take it, it if you want. <laughs> we we got inspired from it, and I feel like there's not a lot of that in Spanish churches, in Spanish conferences, right. and I feel like that's how you grow. Right, I mean, literally. And if you're if you're at a place where you think, oh man, like we can't grow, we're not doing this, we're not doing that, we don't have the gear, we don't have this. For for a long time, we didn't have the gear, but we did what we had. We did with what we had. Mm -hmm. We pushed as much as we could with what we had we've recently started to upgrade certain things and that's why our stream is starting to get a little bit better this and that but work with what you have and if you want some inspiration just go back to Royal Wood a few years ago and look at the yeah, progress from then or to Christian now Christian Tabernacle bro or look Christian at, or, Tabernacle well now we're calling Inspire but right. even back then bro CT. like CT days CT days bro the worship was good everything was good the in person right. was good but like the online bro oh. but since since you you're speaking on Spanish churches just look at RF from a few years ago and look at them now yeah. and just look at the years Terrible. how it's been progressing Terrible. and it, it, in in every aspect like music yeah. production uh, service scheduling. I mean, just like in every. Did it start off yeah. with that Zoom call shot? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Like, See, like you got to start somewhere. I would say too is you need. I would say first is to create a culture that you want to see, you know, in your team first. Yeah. Yeah, and then also maximizing what you have, and that's one thing we did first is like, hey guys, this is what I want us to look like, and. We have everything we need, so and we still look like this. So I'm like, I'm not gonna buy you guys anything if you can't even, if max you yeah. can't even yeah. maximize what you have. And then three months later, you know, they're killing it. So I'm like, okay, let's get new lenses. And I'm not yeah. gonna lie, there yeah. is some stuff at Inspire that's like Jerry rig just to make it work. So I mean, bro, it doesn't. I'm just putting that out there, bro, but bro, it works. I, I it works. It's Jerry rig. Bro, bro. <laughs> we, we didn't buy the pipes, the right pipes. We went to a pipe shop <laughs> with the. Sizes that we y'all built your own like yes, dude. we don't even have bro. Dana Dolly stands for like we're using C stands that are like super tall yeah bro we're making it work work yeah. with what we can with the budgets that we have and it's not always easy but we're pushing so much to stri like we're striving to be better mm -hmm. that we're gonna do whatever we can right now in this season to make it work with what yep. we have yeah to strive for like to answer the question that you've been wanting to ask since the beginning of a Spanish conference to make it successful. And we learned a lot from this one is having a team that works like a team. And that is adaptive. It has to, if you don't have, if and that one is person, willing to take like the personal matters to the side, if one person and just right. work as a, a team, because I think yeah. some people could walk into like an environment with so much, so many personal situations yeah. or personal right. problems with someone, right. which, yeah, that needs to be addressed right. after the work. Right. Yeah. And it needs to be addressed right away. You don't just squish it and let it go yeah, yeah, over yeah. time, you know. Well, I but feel like like we want if we want success, we cannot have the mentality that we think we know it all. Yeah. We have to go to the people that are better than us. 
uh, to help us. And one thing that his dad says and that I really love, uh, that Pastor Sam says, is that there's more things that unite Nights. us than separate than, than like than divides us. than divides us. Sorry, than divides us. So sure, you know, you might not agree with certain things from these people, but. There's more things within us that unites us. So let's make a team yeah. and let's get together and let's build unity because at the end of the day, we're one body. Yeah. We're not going to go up to heaven and it's going to be like, the here's UPC is going to be here. Here's yeah, UPC, right. here's yeah, yeah. Baptist. No, here's bro, we're one body. And yeah. so if well, we can't, how it is if we can't work day. like that here, then we're I don't know how like we're going to be up there, yep. bro. Like reality, you know? Yeah. So. But what I mean is, and to making a conference like RF so successful is... Having the team hey, do their part. Editing to do. <laughs> Say what? You got some editing to do, bro. Yeah. Having, having, each person, kind of stay in their lane. Where I can't we have. That. I can't put this in this. You tripping? I can't no, put that in this. No, no. <laughs> you tripping? <laughs> you tripping? As in, okay, not staying in their lane. All right. Having each person, like he, he's the each one. Each person should know their limits. No, no, and no, not, no. Not that's not what I mean. <laughs> what I mean is. Daniel is the is the guy that's in charge of every everyone, right? He's a he's the guy that's being the productive the production guy, right? He should be able to trust me that I'm gonna do my job, right? Right? He should be able to trust Lewis as the MD, and he's gonna be doing the music, and I can trust him. I can trust the the photographer. The thing is that people don't trust me. <laughs> well, that's the problem. You. I don't that's think Sam problem. did that <laughs> night, bro. No, that's just, the problem. Hey, hey, no, no. hey, hey, hold up, hold up. Uh, continue. Hurry, bro! Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, look, look. What's important is having each having a team that he trusts. Yeah, yeah. That makes it successful. Yeah. Because if he can't trust someone, then there's gonna be leaks in the system, and it's not gonna run like it smoothly, guys. Should I? I just think that's the way to make a conference successful is having a great leader, like he was, (laughs) and having the great team. In their departments. Yeah. My no, principal would always right. say attitude is everything. That's really going to set right. the I'm tone done. of everything. I'm, I'm laughing. Wait for us in the car, please. Wait for us in the car, please. He's finally done talking about We're, suce- it. We're successful. <laughs> Wait for us in the car, please. Guys, thank you, all. Thank you for watching this. Uh, I'm going to end it with this because I already know people, people are going to say culture. They're it's gonna, not culture. I promise you. It's not. It's not culture. And we are witnessing that right now because... We grew up that way. So much people saying it's culture. It's not. Culture can be broken. What shouldn't change when trying to change the culture is biblical principles. The mindset foundation, of what we have. Exactly. Forgot. That doesn't change. Create but culture, culture can. The future is now. <laughs> <laughs> the future is now. See y'all. Peace. Thank you for watching. Hey, this is John. Hey, this imagine, is a vibe. Wait, yeah, man. hold on. Imagine if you recorded it, but then you live stream it at the same time. Oh, that would be so good.